So one day in my junior year, my professor of military science, Captain Larry Satterwhite, literally grabbed me by the shoulders and sat me down in his office. You, meaning me, <laughs> are not serious and are about to enter this man's army. That's exactly how he put it. <laughs> you are not ready and you need an edge. You need to go to airborne school. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My response was genuine, immediate, and laced with fear. <laughs> Whoa, sir. I think you have me confused with someone not afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> well, with his buzzed, cut strawberry red hair, neatly trimmed mustache, and blue eyes ablaze, I knew Captain Satterwhite was serious. He continued, yes, you. <laughs> he said, you're fit. I was a college athlete in track and cross country at the time. You know how to be serious. <laughs> I was a good student. <laughs> and he continued, and you'll do just fine, so long as you remember the following. No matter how many push-ups they make you do, no matter how many times they yell at you, no matter how awful they make you feel, just remember, it's all so that when they say jump, you will jump. And when you do, you'll land safely. Well, I actually didn't land safely that first jump. I sprained my ankle severely. And there was a period of time when I thought, despite all the work, blood, sweat, and tears I had put into my airborne training, the wings would not be mine. But through a sequence of serendipitous, serendipitous events, I got back to Fort Benning and was able to complete my four, my remaining four jumps. And by so doing, improbably, improbably, this kid, afraid of heights, earned her airborne wings. Airborne school was my black swan. Before Captain Satterwhite dressed me down, never, never in a million years could I imagine jumping several times out of a C-130 cargo plane. But I did it, despite still being afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> Airborne school became a metaphor for me throughout my law and business career. When things got hard at the Pentagon, the White House, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the law firm, Dell, or Starbucks, I'd remember. When things get hard in music, I remember. I remember the serendipity of black swans, and I recall that courage to say yes. <laughs>